everybody. Dan here from Sherpy Team. What we got going on today is we got the Sherpa all fixed again. Not a really big thing that we need to do with it, um, but just trying to get some hours on to make sure that the repair was correct. Um, today what we're going to do is cut with some tree stands, get some trails cleared, making sure we are all ready for fall. Should be pretty cool. Hopefully you see something pretty slick. Maybe we'll be lucky and see a big giant buffalo over in the hills. Did you wait? Nope. Nope. Where are we going? Well, we never did use the Sherp for assisting with the tree stands. We were able to get by with side-by-sides and four-wheelers. But I was able to drive around enough to feel confident that that repair did take um, hold. Everything seemed to be right. It worked well. This is massive nettles too that I'm going through right now and I don't get any reaction or have any issue with that whatsoever. Part of the challenge with driving through the Sherpa with this stuff is you can't see what's in front of you because the stuff is so darn tall. The good thing is if you hit something, you're likely not going to break anything. Here we are cruising down the field and I'm in about fifth gear right now, about I'd say quarter, half throttle. I bet I'm going almost 20 miles an hour. She ran smooth as silk, no unusual sounds. Everything seemed to be great. During that last repair, I also put on ceramic brakes and it made one hell of a difference turning on hard surfaces. Glad I did that. Hopefully those ceramic brakes don't get caked up with oil like the traditional ones do and they last. Time will tell. Here's some insane high weeds. Again, it's really weird driving through those weeds when you can't see where the hell you're going. The weeds themselves typically lay down and don't pop up again. The trees happen to pop back up again. I also use the shirt for just going right along woods um, at the side of a field to just knock down some of those weeds so it's easier to walk in. And that, my friends, is a little bit steep too. It doesn't look like much on the video. Good trip. The chirp proved itself. My repair did work. I do want to take it apart one more time and take a look at that universal joint, but that's going to be happening another day. Uh, kind of tight. Can't wait for the yeah. ventures coming up here real soon. There's going to be something at uh, McMiller Sports Center. Uh, helping out some kids. Going to do the open house again like we did last year. And I still want to try to pull that Sherp with that jet ski. That will come at some point. Well, we're coming up to an end of this video, everybody. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Wasn't a lot of super exciting things, but I wanted to make sure I kept in contact. Hope everything's going well in your life. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Pass it along. Hope all is going well in life. Take care. Yeah.